Hey guys, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today it's well, I say it's back to normal. We should be back to normal now. We are we're rolling in our uh, Stobart Scania. Finally, after we've got rid of the American trucks, no more for some time. Um Yeah, let me show you what I've been doing. Well, I've not been recording. So you see here, I have these garages. I have eight. I think we had like five last time you saw these. They are making some money. Look, profit for the last seven days. Nearly making a million. Truck manager. We have 26 trucks now in the fleet. Uh, six of those are... Uh, so we have 20 Stobart trucks, I think, no, we will have, oh no, let's do this, we have 19 Stobart trucks, anyway, in fact no, we have 18 Stobart trucks, just what, yeah, as you can see here, I've been hiring people, buy, buying trucks, and I'm just going to go through what each of these trucks do. So you've got a DAF XF. This guy, he's... What's Sebastian on? Anyway, Lucy, Marianne, and Patricia have all got these um, lower status DAF trucks. These, because they're on eco driving, so they don't need the big truck. They're not going to be taking the big loads. Let me go back. So we have Daf X uh, Philip, for example. Philip is a long distance driver, and I decided to use the Daf XF because it seems more spacious. I know when I drove it, they, the, it really felt spacious. So. You know, that's what I give it. Ryan is in a Scania R top line. These are, it's a big heavy truck he's in. So he's on high value. He'll be getting the heavy loads. Uh, Ellis is on the Volvo FH. They're more for doing just normal deliveries around busy cities. Um, mans, mans. These are good for fragile cargo, so car, transporters, yeah, you name it. So he does fragile. This Scania would be used for ADR, you don't need the more streamlined cab because ADR is more of cylinder tankers. So that's why we've chose that. Uh, I think that's it, really. Again, the other is the odd one out. I've tried to keep most of them together. So where are we? I can't remember where I left off. We are in Alborg, which is somewhere. <laughs> there. Uh, we've got nothing really going for us. We've got that. I guess we could take them up there. Should we do that? Yeah, why not? It's raining. I'm running out of fuel. Oh no. Where are we picking him up from? I apologize for the lag. I'm rendering a video and the computer's not liking it. Oh, yes. 
I, I mean, I was playing off screen and I did this magnificent drift. Honestly, it was the best. It like I went around the corner over the speed bumps and the truck flew up in the air. Got that. Let's just turn. Who's on? He's asking for beacons. Not that. that. Beacons on the back, so it's a beacon drill. There's one thing I'm worried about. That is the fuel, the old juice in the truck. I'm actually quite worried that we're not going to get... Oh, snip! What did I do there? I was concentrating. Um, yeah, I don't know where the next fuel station is. <laughs> Down there. Are we going to make it up there? <sighs> we might just get there. We have 66 miles of fuel left. Though most of this is taken up by ferry. I'm just going to watch my... Uh, just got to watch fuel consumption now. I am low. Fuel remaining for 65 mile. I'm going to be gutted if we don't do this. I'm, I think I've never run out of fuel in this game. Imagine that. I'm running out of fuel. God, we've been some bother. Take it easy you now, just rolling 12th gear. Not burn that much fuel. Should be fine. It's the hills we've got to worry about. Stop up in front of us. Scan you and I can tell. I don't think he's in a store about one though. Ah, you're letting the side down, mate. <laughs> oh, what's this road here? What the hell goes on here? Oh god, burning fuel here. <laughs> me we have to actually make a u-turn strange <laughs> the hell what's all that about <laughs> stop up Come 
and I want to get this job done. Rolling low on fuel. We're not going to do it. It's not possible to do it. Where's the nearest fuel station? Oh, we've, we've blown it. That's not one. Ah! Oh. We ain't going to get there, then get round there. And drop it off. There's no chance. I wonder what happens when we run out of fuel. I mean, we can't get an achievement because there isn't no achievements for this game. There is one game that you can get an achievement for running out of fuel. I believe it's Bus and Cable Car Simulator. There's some kind of achievement where you run out of fuel. It's like basically achievement is based on that you're a tight bastard and <laughs> you won't purchase fuel. I've been driving, there's been no petrol stations. Dude, you should have your uh, flags on. Whatever they use. The wide loads. 12 miles remaining. Bloody get on the thing. Hang on a minute. Do we have to go up there? Oh, well, make it clear next time. We might just get over the ferry. No, we're not going to do it. Gonna die. Shit. Come on. Look at this, it's still rolling. Come on. Keep going. One eternity later. <laughs> Like if I stop, I ain't gonna get started again. Now yeah, we've blown it. However, no, have we done? This was uh, quite the failure then. The fault lifts never got to their destination. And after all that. <coughs> it's half past midnight in the morning. I'm gonna just honk the horn and hope someone will come out of these buildings with a jerry can. The top up.
my two fuel tanks. Now, hmm. balls. God damn it. Ah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Eurotruck Simulator 2. It's been quite the failure. Um, I should have refueled before, but you know, that's what happens when you run out of fuel in this game. You just stop dead. And there's, uh, there's nothing you can do. There's really nothing you can do. So, thank you for watching. Please like, favourite and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Ta-ra.